It may not technically be the Garden of Eden, but it is the beach town of Eden. This large bay can contain whales and other huge things. Ominous are the origins of waves that lap upon the shore, a contemplation of clear water to set your mind walking along the coast and search for a place protected from the darkest depths. A peaceful little sanctuary unknown by sin, a slice of heavenly perfection, enough to step your toes in anyway. Me and Reese have this whole pool to ourselves. It's really cool. Take a look. I am dead and buried by the sea. Maybe now Missy can get a moment's peace. Just kidding. I am totally still here. Hell yeah. Here we are at the end of Eden. We, we were just in a rock pool. It was really pretty. Um, we were spontaneous. So now we're off to the campsite. We got quite a lot of driving ahead of us. About three hours, um, and uh, we'll, 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 we'll let you know when we get there. We made it into Victoria. Victoria! Victoria! Queen Victoria! Our new home for the next two days. Fire! Look. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Me and Reese are upgrading our camping game. We've got a table. We've got the awning wall. We got the floor. So much room for activities. Step brothers. Yeah. Here's our lovely toilets with drinking water. Well, no, I don't Just think it's drinking water. Not drinking water. Stunning. This is so pretty. There's nobody else here except for those people over there, but it's all us. We're gonna surf these waves, maybe. It'll be really good. I surf. So cool. Damn. Rip surf. Ron John. Oh, Long Johnson. Oh, I really just want to run. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> This is Tomat. He is a bandicoot. We love him even though he is a rodent of unusual size. Made it out. Missy's here. There she is. Got a wave. <laughs> it's gonna happen in a couple minutes. Would this be a good time to propose, you think? No, I'm too tired. We're going surfing. We went surfing. It was totally mid, I swear. Missy's in a shower toga. Me and Reese spend a good chunk of our time cooking, and we have been absolutely killing our meals in a good way. This is Eggshell. He is a goana. Besides looking like a villain from the movie Fern Gully, he is a rather resourceful and cute looking giant lizard. He invaded our camp. He was hungry, but then he got tired. Hmm. We're walking. Deep in the jungle. Due to the fires, a lot of these trees appear black, but you can see the regrowth that is happening, and it reminds you just how resilient nature is. We also found this beach where our initials were written in the sand. We totally didn't do it ourselves. The Hotel Motel Holiday Inn. We are climbing the Genoa Peak Trail. It's really intense, uh, 10 kilometer hike, um, all uphill directly. 
I don't know if we're gonna make it. We're gonna bring no water, no food. Yeah. Mountain lions everywhere, snakes everywhere, spiders everywhere. Yeah, we actually imported mountain lions. Yeah. We're in complete danger. This is the best eaten town. Sometimes I like to put us in fantasy novels, uh, giving us daring reasons to go upon this journey. This time, we were searching for a long lost rock people. It was said that they have ancient treasures deep within the peak of the mountain. That's a nice boulder. I like that boulder. But then, we were attacked by giant ants. Ah! They started flying everywhere once we reached the top. made it to the top. Missy's totally not I'm scared totally at all. She's really good at heights actually. She had to force me to get up here. We did it! We, we did, did it! it. <laughs> we did that for fun. It felt like more like work to me. It's a workout. We were living Ship's Wreck Creek. We're on to the next campsite. Banksia Bluff. Banksia. Banksia. Banksy. Banksy's gonna be there. <gasps> on the road again. Away we go. We got ourselves some snackies, got some pies, chips. I got a vegan roll. Vegan sausage roll, no freaking tomato sauce. Jeez, psychopath. I like things plain. <laughs> We're gonna chow down. It's hard to give a description of what rest and relaxation means. Are we to lay down and take a nap? Or walk in the grass and listen to music? What brings you calm and keeps you in the present? Clearing one's minds of all the things that weigh upon your life, as mundane as it may seem, is not that easy. Yes, he's cutting up the pumpkin. More people eat pumpkin here in Australia, so. I'm watching water boil. Some fellow campers told us to check out the waves at night. There were bioluminescent waves, which happen due to living microorganisms emitting light. That color that you see is not a filter. That's the actual color. It was one of the most magical things I have ever seen. We end each day with the reflections of the past, the mind jumping to remember what it should have forgotten. Regret, fear, and anxiety all snuggled up in bed beside you. I wish we could just remember the moments of peace that comes in the morning right before the weight of your life comes crashing into your thoughts. To only think on the reflections of a sunrise and not the pain of rejection. Consciousness is a gift, but it comes with the curse of memory. Careful of the pitfalls that stop you from seeing what's really important. Now. We came, we saw, we conquered. We bought the t-shirt. What? Yeah. What t-shirt? You've never heard that? Oh, no. Three, two, one. Lakes lake entrance. entrance. Lakes. Lake, lakes entrance. It's an entrance to a lake. I wonder where the exit is. Okay.